Minecraft has a movie. It's called Sons of War and it created something never before seen in the Minecraft community. You probably already know about it, but if you don't, it's a deep and rich story that portrays conflict and transformation through three character arcs in a Minecraft world. But it already has 30 million views, so instead of going over the movie itself, today we're going to cover a quick history of Sons of War, Minecraft's first quality feature length film. And for clarification, this means Minecraft movies you could actually watch in a theater. Let's start off this historical tour by going back to 2010. We start with Black Plasma Studios, the group that would publish Sons of War. They make Minecraft animations, have over a billion views, and have been on YouTube for over 13 years. The group was originally started by a guy called David R.B. back in 2010 when he was only 16. You see, he liked animating, he liked Halo, and thus he made Halo Machinimas. Remember those from back in the day? But minor details aside, the cool part of the studio started in 2011, when the idea for this cool epic storyline started circulating through the BPS team. And thus began Sons of War. So now that you know what Black Plasma Studios is, let's explore its founder, David R. B., because it was actually his idea and vision that created the Sons of War movie. To start, let's list some epic facts about David. For one, he really likes pizza preferably ones with olives and pepperoni. To follow that, his Minecraft username is Arbiter617, and to finish up a quick list, his first Minecraft animation was called Spider Attack, which I'll play a brief clip of now. And if you didn't pick up on it before, yes, David is the founder of Black Plasma Studios. Now, before we get to the actual movie, we need an actual idea of who David is, so we can understand the motives behind Swords of War. But honestly, do we really need to discuss it that much when he has a pizza guy? I mean, animators making pizza. Come on. Though, in all seriousness, David made a tour video for the Black Plasma Studios office, which was pretty cool. He went through explaining rooms describing the workflow of BPS. Honestly, he seems like a pretty chilled guy, one who enjoys creativity and expression, but also cares a lot about getting stuff done. So now that we understand David and BPS, let's get into the movie. As I said before, Sons of War started back in 2011, but stuff didn't actually pick up until 2015, sometime after David created the Spider Attack animation. He was looking for a game to implement the Sons of War story into, and Minecraft turned out to be a perfect fit. Thus, from that point till 2019, production on the movie occurred, and while we don't know what specifically happened behind the scenes, let me give you a gist of what definitely happened in that time. From 2015 to 2019, David and the people he knew who wanted to help on Sons of War made custom skins, had the map built, wrote the script, designed the whole entire storyline, created multiple races of Minecraft characters, released a ton of animations on Block Plasma Studios' channel, ate a lot of pizza, fleshed out the fight scenes, and towards the latter part of Sons of War development, voice actors were hired to act out the characters who would become iconic parts of the movie. David's role as a whole was producer and project manager during the project's origin. He was the person who came up with the idea and he was also a key component in the creation of Sons of War. Without David, the Sons of War vision and movie would not exist at all. Okay, now that you know about the origin of Sons of War, let's talk about the release. David put a ton of work into the animation it literally took him four years to make everything and get to the point where the first episode would be released. It started with a trailer, then another trailer, and finally on November 23rd of 2019, over a year and a half before I recorded this video, the first episode of Sons of War would be released to the public. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Which have eluded our and unity, Gressus. Oh. The final duel took place on the mountain's peak. So now that you've seen the gist of the first episode, let it sink in. Sons of War was out. Five of the total episodes would release over the next ten weeks. Then BPS would take a break. 
Finally, they would speed up the pace and return by making uploads every single week until the final episode released on March 28th of 2020. And honestly, the individual episode uploads aren't that important. It was all just leading towards the end of the season. But it's important to understand that the whole entire plot was slowly released to the dedicated fans to build hype. And only once all 10 episodes of Sons of War were out did the full feature length film actually drop. But if we get back on our timeline, a cool fact about the release was during the latter parts of releases, David would announce a special promotion where if you donated to the Black Plasma Studios Patreon, you would get featured in the end credits of Sons of War. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, let's jump through all the episodes to the finale and build up of the Sons of War releases. The hero Achilles the Stars and villain Angressus Voltaris of the film would fight one on one in the culmination of the last few months of episodes. Their blades would clash, their fury and passion illustrated as swords battling against each other. The story behind the battle was deeper than that though. Yet just like that, the season would be over and the future of Songs of War was blank. So what happened after that? What would follow the release of all 10 episodes? Well, on April 11th of 2020, during the height of the pandemic, the full feature length film would be released. But where does Sons of War stand today? Sadly today, Sons of War is over. It ended on June 14th of 2020 when David made a Sons of War cancellation announcement on the Black Plasma community channel. The gist was Sons of War did not get enough support to want four years of hard work, i.e. the message was, it's cancelled. But here's the cool part about the history of Sons of War. Even though it was over, David released the assets and script of the series. Then he made two videos going over what would have been Sons of War Season 2 and 3. He imparted his vision into the community. So let's quickly bring up what came out of this. For one, fan groups like the Knights of Ardonia and Helios would form groups to unofficially continue Sons of War. A Sons of War SMP would pop up and most importantly, fan animations would be created by people like Blazy, Seftic, Megazed S and more to visualize the most iconic parts of the cancelled seasons. Regarding David, ironically he would leave Black Plasma Studios, the group he founded to start development on his own game. He wouldn't lose contact with those he knew but in terms of work, him and Blender Minecraft animations were over. Today you can find the same guy who sparked the first real full length movie in the Minecraft community working on a brand new sci-fi game called Arcadian Rift. And as for Sons of War, well, if you are inspired by it, you too can go watch the movie 30 million others have, or read the script which I've linked both of in the description. Trust me, they're really cool. 